Good evening, members of the Board of Education, Mr. Grube, Mr. Meyer, faculty, staff, parents, guests, and class of 2020. It gives me great pride to welcome you to the Lincoln Park Middle School's class of 2020 graduation. I would like to begin by requesting that you please rise for the pledge to the flag and remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. for tuning into this event to show your support. It truly means a lot. And to the graduating class, I am deeply sorry that our eighth grade year did not pan out the way we all believed it would. None of us could have ever imagined something like this happening, especially not during a year as meaningful as this one. However, if I know anything about this class, it is that we are nothing if not resilient. As difficult as it may have been, we made it. Our time at LPMS was different to say the least, but we still made it. Through all the highs and lows, middle school taught us many valuable lessons and has ultimately helped us to grow not only as students, but as young adults. We must always hold on to the cherished memories made throughout the years at LPMS and forge a path ahead for our new dreams and aspirations. So now let us begin the class of 2020's graduation ceremony. I would now like to recognize this year's valedictorians. The title of valedictorian is an anglicized derivative from the Latin val decire, which means farewell. This honor is granted to the top graduate of the graduating class. The title is awarded on the basis of the highest grade point average calculated from grades five through eight. A valedictorian exhibits qualities of high academic achievement, intuitive thinking, perseverance, and motivation. This individual truly possesses a love of learning. As Samuel Johnson, the great writer once said, this individual has cleared his or her mind of the word can't. This true scholar, without a doubt, has set a course of success for the future. It is with great pride and pleasure that we recognize these individuals. Please join me in congratulating them. Angelica Brizek. Sarah Brizek. Catherine Cefeli, Brianna Dunga, Nitya Makapati, Ashley Spare. Congratulations. Good evening, class of 2020. Every year, the days leading up to graduation are frantic as we prepare for the closing of the school year. One of my biggest headaches comes from the stress of whether or not it will rain on graduation night, forcing us to hold the event indoors. Here we find ourselves in a situation I'd never imagined, a virtual graduation. On the bright side, at least we didn't have to worry about whether or not it was going to rain tonight. While it's a small consolation compared to the many drawbacks, I would encourage you to adopt a similar outlook on life and look for the bright side of whatever situation you are facing. 
you've had a unique experience that no eighth grade has ever had. Now take that experience and learn from it. Here are some lessons I have learned from this difficult time that I would like to share with you. First, life is unexpected. When the school year began, none of us imagined school would be closed and switched to remote learning. The Roman poet Horace coined the phrase, carpe diem, seize the day. Make the most of your time today and make some experience for yourself. Try something, learn something, make something. This is great advice for anyone in quarantine where it is easy to spend your day watching TikToks or binging Netflix. Next, don't underestimate the human spirit. While remote learning has been difficult for everyone, I was impressed and inspired by how many individuals, by many individuals and groups. To begin, my entire teaching staff had no experience teaching online classes, and we had very little time to provide training. The activities and lessons that were organized and presented were truly impressive. I have also been impressed by the work and projects submitted by the students. Despite the fact that students were confined to their homes, they still performed the best they could under the circumstances. Not to mention the many students who came together to participate in events such as Lincoln Park Link Up Day, Teacher Appreciation Week, LPMS Spirit Days, and even the World Cup. Finally, the last thing I've learned is that time with family is invaluable. We all lead busy lives, and with practice, games, rehearsals, meetings, we don't see our family members nearly as much as we could. Prior to the quarantine, I'm not sure the last time my family had dinner together. Maybe it was Christmas? While we joke about spending too much time together, this gave us the unique opportunity to share time with our loved ones that our lifestyle would not otherwise have allowed. As we near the end of the quarantine, and I hope it comes sooner rather than later, appreciate all of those who love and support you. I know that with the right frame of mind, you will come out of this experience stronger and more prepared for anything your future may hold. I wish you all the best, and as you go off to high school, I am counting on you to make us proud. Good luck, class of 2020. Good evening. I would like to welcome the Board of Education, teaching staff, administrators, borough officials, parents, and most of all, the graduates of the Lincoln Park Middle School eighth grade class of 2020. Welcome to your graduation ceremony. This is my 13th graduation speech being given at Lincoln Park Middle School. And to say this is very unique and different from all the other ones I previously gave is a huge understatement. Class of 2020, you are the first and hopefully the last to experience the educational year we experienced this year. It is not what you or any of us wanted, and it was out of our control. I can use adjectives like different, difficult, frustrating, as well as many other words to describe what this year was and still is. I can also use words like determined, resilient, flexible, understanding, as well as many other words to describe you, the class of 2020, and how you handled the year. Although it wasn't what you wanted or expected in your eighth grade year, you persevered and handled everything that came your way. You used Zoom, Google Meet, Kahoot, and many other technology platforms to learn while actually physically, not physically being in the building. You continue to complete schoolwork, meet deadlines, and socialize while at home. New methods and experience were provided in order to at least provide some semblance of normal, whatever normal is now. Graduates, shortly you will be declared to have met all the requirements to move on to high school, and your days at Lincoln Park Middle School will be completed. I want you not to just focus on the last three months, but on the last four years, as well as your years spent at the Lincoln Park Elementary School. Remember your field days, class trips, sporting events, concerts, plays, assemblies, clubs, classroom act activities, as well as your teachers who played a major role in your education and the growth that brought you to this evening. You have many great experiences and probably some not so great. Remember them all. 
Cherish them all. They are what will shape you and the shape of the person that you are today. Along with thinking of your school memories, take a look at your family members, members sitting next to you and all the family members who have given you support throughout the year and helped you in this educational process. Take a moment and thank them. Give them a hug. Even in this social distance world, you can hug your family members. Let them know how much you appreciate them and how much you love them. There is nothing more important than family. They will be the ones that help you navigate life successfully. Earlier, Mr. Meyer provided some advice. I hope you listen to his words of wisdom. As you all know, Mr. Meyer is a very wise man. I know I always pay attention to him. He stated, seize the day. Don't underestimate the human spirit. Value time with family. Very wise advice for all of you, but not just for you, but for all of us as well. I encourage you to take Mr. Meyer's advice, as well as what you have learned over the years, use it as a base to build your future. Whether you're going to Boone High School, Paquanic Academies, Morris County Votech, or other public or private schools, Lincoln Park has given you a good foundation to build on. You've been well prepared and you have the solid foundation to be anything you want to be. So graduates, seize your day. Before I close, I want to recognize a few people. First, I want to congratulate Mrs. Van Kalsbach, teacher for over 20 years, 20 over 24 years in the Lincoln Park School District, who has decided to retire at the end of the school year. Barbara, thank you for all you've done for the students of Lincoln Park. Enjoy your retirement. You've earned it. Also, I want to thank the staff who worked so hard to create this virtual graduation. The time and effort put in by the eighth grade team, the administration was extensive, and they tried to make this program as memorable and special as they could. Nothing is as special as an in-person graduation, but they tried, and I believe they succeeded in providing a memorable graduation ceremony. I also want to take a moment to recognize all the teachers, administrators, aides, and office staff for all your efforts during the past year, especially the last three months of remote instruction. On March 13th, when we made the decision to close school, no one expected it to last this long. But in a very short time period, the staff provided quality learning experience for all the students in the district. Mind you, nothing compares to quality educational experience that takes place in the school buildings. But I commend the staff for making every effort to provide a successful remote learning experience. I also want to thank the parents that provided guidance and assistance with the instruction at home. So graduates, I'm sure you join me in thinking and thanking you all your teachers for all they have done these past three months and all they have done over the years at Lincoln Park. Before I call Mr. Avina up to certify the class, I want to leave you with a quote on adversity by Haruki Makarkalami. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain, when you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person you walked in. That's what the storm's all about. Graduates, you've handled the storm and you're stronger for it. I would like Mr. Frank Avina, the president of Lincoln Park Board of Education, to come to the podium as I certify the class. Mr. Avina, as superintendent of Lincoln Park School District, it is my honor and privilege to certify you, the board president, and to the Board of Education, that the eighth grade class of 2020 have met all the requirements and standards set forth by the New Jersey Department of Education in the area of the New Jersey Student Learning Standards and Attendance, and are hereby certified to receive their diploma. President Avina. As President of the Lincoln Park Board of Education, I, Frank Avina, hereby accept the superintendent's certification that the eighth grade students have met the necessary requirements for graduation. I therefore proclaim you 
graduates of the Lincoln Park Middle School, I will now confer your diplomas. Congratulations. Ariana Abazi. Emanuela Alisovska. Tair El Halek. Ariana Michelle Ali. Hunter Altieri. Jackson J. Babina. Sean Gabriel Bacanaya. Raul Barranco. Jen Burke Tevfik Biljik. Emma Lee Blanchard. Michael J. Bono. Leah Brunchai. Angelica Brizik. Sarah Brizik. Dylan James Canizero. Leilani Celeste Carino. Kensil Castillo. Catherine May Cefeli. Christopher Ryan Clemente. Kira Lynn Cook. Brianna Mary Cosio. Alicia Cuevas. Giovanni de la Cruz Peña. Dominic Amin de la Rosa. Jason Sean de Jesus. Olivia Francesca de Palma. Nicholas Michael DeSantis. Nicholas Anthony DeCoyo. Brianna Marie Dunca. Adalia Lucia Edwards. Sharif Midhat El Said. Eliana 
Espinal. Alicia Eva Esposito. Paul Ian Estevez. Rafael Francisco Fajardo. Christopher Fernandez Lopez. Michael Flood. Alanise Janelle Friere. Agnes Karen Gamera. Natalie Garcia Osorio. Valerie Garcia Osorio. Nathan Keith Gaskins. Alexandra Gianetto. Matthew Richard Ginn. Nathan Anthony Harris. Dylan Robert Hartle. Kaylee Ann Holcomb. Carrie Marie Hopkins. Kaylin Jordan Monroy. Tyler Jacob Kasperzak. Geo Joseph Katat. Ava Julia Kelly. Olivia Marie Cribs. Elisa Latifi. Cheyenne Elise Lindsay. Sydney Bagang Lintag. Jasmine Liverpool. Arlenis Luciano Santana. Corey Matthew Madsen. Nitya Makapati. Monica Celeste Mann. Thomas Daniel Martin. Brandon Nathaniel Martinez. Cindy Fiorella Matut Palta. Adam Mladenovic.
Augustin Moraes. Brooke Olivia Morris. Jessica Elizabeth Murphy. Elisa Nasufi. Amy Lucia Oscanoa. Heba Umiel. Gianni Ovias. Masha Pechokina. Janisi Ayana Pena. Carolina Maria Pidel. Philip Felice Pizzo. Salvatore Pastiglione. Adam Fosi. Emily Ann Raza. Sarah Ann Raza. Jeremy Lee Rahenkos. Brian Eliezer Rivera Velez. Kiara Marie Rodriguez. Xavier Roman. Jason Ryan Scocoso. Sabora Salimi. Jean E. Serrano Rosado. Jack Robert Simnor. Savannah Grace Smentkowski. Ashley Page Sparr. John Matthew Simmons. Layla Isabella Torres. Rahel Julia Toth. Denise Turan. Charlize May Valencia. Christopher Johan Vicente. Belen Williams. Isabella Lopresti Wojtas. Abigail Aubrey Zanka.
Elizabeth Allison Zanka. Matthew John Zenzer. Michael John Zercher. When we started fifth grade at the age of 10, we were young, naive, and nervous. With each year came a new set of challenges, more obstacles to overcome, and hundreds of lessons learned. As we transition from eighth graders to freshmen, I hope we all remember the knowledge and friendships we developed here at LPMS. Spending the last few months of our graduating year at home was definitely difficult. When the news that we would not be returning to school came, I'm sure we were all deeply discouraged and upset. However, we have all been there for each other during these trying times. And if this pandemic has taught us anything, it's that each and every one of us in the class of 2020 is both reliable and resilient. We made it through this situation, so I know that we can make it through whatever other challenges life will present to us in the future. Even as some of us part ways to attend different high schools in the area, we will still forever be connected as the Lincoln Park Middle School class of 2020, the ones that made it through the pandemic. To all the graduates, congratulations, and to everyone who along the way supported us, administrators, faculty, staff, parents and friends, thank you. Your encouragement means the world to us. Now it is time for us to follow our dreams and transition into a new phase of our lives. Good luck to the class of 2020 and all that you do. Thank you all for tuning in and have a great night. Thank you.